Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Heather and today we are doing the second dresser to the three-piece set that I got off of Facebook Marketplace a while back for $75. If that is something you are interested in, just keep watching. <music> All right, so here's the dresser we're going to be working on today. It is a five drawer dresser, and if you don't recognize it now, you probably will from the unique drawer liners that are inside the drawers. I absolutely love these. I don't think I'll ever get over how unique they are, and you probably can't find something like that again today. I'm starting off this piece by taking all the hardware off as well as taking the drawers out one at a time to make it easier to clean afterwards. Because I like to clean inside the dresser, it saves me more time taking them out all now instead of having to go back and do it later. Now that it's time to clean, I prepared my bucket with warm water and Dawn dish soap. I like to use a microfiber towel because it really grabs onto the dust and any other particles floating around in there. I clean just about everywhere from the top to bottom, all of the sides and inside the dresser as well. Make sure you aren't forgetting about those drawer fronts. Those are just as important, especially where the hardware laid underneath. There can be very dusty and you don't want to forget about that. Usually I will also clean the inside of the drawers, but again, because they have really cool drawer liners that I don't want to get ruined or wet, I'm going to skip out on that part for this time. After washing your piece down and going back and rinsing, it is time to sand. I am taking my 220 grit sandpaper. I am not going to be taking this down to raw wood. I just want to give it a good scuff sand so that the paint can adhere to the piece. After sanding down the piece, it's extremely important to go back and wipe down your piece. I like to use microfiber towels because they really grab onto the dust, but if you were to leave that dust there, it would yellow your paint and that's not something that we want. The next step is priming. I am going in with my Zinzer 3 to one primer. I have really liked this primer. I've used a few others at this point, but I have not found anything that beats this one. It goes on smooth and it dries very, very smooth as well. So that is something that I really like. A lot of people debate whether doing light scuff sanding coats in between. I usually find that with this primer, I do not have to do that. Now for this dresser, I am not going to be priming the drawer fronts. Usually that is another step in the process that I will do during the priming stage, but I have another plan for the drawer fronts and it does not require priming. It is now time for my absolute favorite part and that is actually putting the color onto the piece. For this piece, we are going back in with that Restoration Bronze from Melange Paints. I used this on the matching dresser to this piece and I think that it fits so well that I'm going ahead and doing it again. I'm making sure to give it a good shake and then getting right to it. Mm -hmm. 
this color continues to impress me. I love how in some lights it is green and then in some lights it's the true brown and bronzy color. But it's just a very beautiful color and it's definitely something out of my comfort zone. I would say Melange Paint is a very good beginner friendly paint. It is very easy to work with and it dries smooth so it doesn't create any complications later down the road. It's very rare that I have found to have to do scuff sanding in between. Some people still prefer to do it, but for me I always get very smooth finishes. Now once that first coat is dry, I will go straight back in and do that second coat. I find that two coats is perfect with melange paint, especially with the dark colors. So at two, I am good. As I said before, I do have different plans for the drawer fronts and that is going to be taking it down to bare wood. So I took the drawer fronts outside and started sanding them with an 80 grit sandpaper to get all the way down to the raw wood. It was a little bit difficult because there were some curves, so there were some parts that I had to do some hand sanding. But otherwise, I started with an 80 grit sandpaper, went to 120, and then lastly finished off with a 220 to make sure that I had a smooth finish. And even with hand sanding, there were some parts that I wasn't able to get that existing finish off, but I was able to get most of it, and I honestly started to like the look of the little bit of existing finish that showed through. You'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about once we start drilling in the hardware holes. I am not the best with measurements, so I called Avery in to help me with actually drilling the holes for this new hardware, and I was able to capture his technique. For him to measure out the new hardware holes, he took the existing hardware holes, and from there he had a center point and was able to measure out the lengths of the new hardware. There, he just drew small holes and drilled the tiniest hole into the drawer fronts just so that he could refer back to that when it was time to put the hardware in. He did this for all of the drawer fronts until he was ready to actually put the hardware in. And I know what you're thinking, I haven't top coated yet, but that is because we run into a slight problem and I wanted to see what it would look like with the hardware on before I went and top coated it.
I thought the drawers looked beautiful with the hardware on, but I wasn't 100% convinced, so I decided that I had to get the drawer fronts into the dresser to see what it would look like. From afar, it looks really good, but when you get up close, you can still see the indents of where the previous hardware was because the wood is a lighter color. And you're about to see my reaction here. I was not convinced and my suspicions were correct. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to show you guys up close what I was seeing. The hardware doesn't cover the existing hardware, and it's definitely too light. So this is what we're working with, and we are back to the drawing board. I decided to go ahead and prime the drawers. I like to just line the tray with tin foil and keep my roller in a bag so I can use it a few times before having to toss it. For primer, I am using my Zinzer 3 to 1 primer and I'm going to be applying it to the drawers. For these drawers, I am really keeping a close eye out for pooling of the primer. This happens often when there's a lot of details or curves like these drawer fronts. So if you don't catch it now while it's wet, you'll have to go back later and sand it down. Now priming and painting isn't the only solution to this problem of uneven wood tones. I have had other people mention that bleaching the wood or using Barkeeper's Friend can really help to even it out as well. But I just decided to prime so once the primer was all dried up, I went in with my Restoration Bronze from Launch Paint. This is the same paint that we used on the body of the dresser. So I'm going in with that and starting to paint that on. I painted on two coats here just like I did the body of the dresser and I got full coverage.
After the paint was dry, I prepped for top coat. I like to use water-based polycrylic in the clear mat. You will see that I'm putting a bit of that into an old container and then taking the tip of my brush, putting that into the paint and then transferring it over into my top coat and mixing it. I like to do this especially on dark colors to minimize the cloudiness. You just want to make sure that you mix it in really well and not use a lot of the paint. A little bit will go a long way with the top coat. When top coating, you want to make sure to go in one direction. This is going to help minimize those streaks that you can get from top coating. And then I'm also making sure to check my work for pooling because pooling happens even a lot more here when you're top coating because it's so thin than it does even with the paint. So I'm really making sure to check my work, going back and catching any of those drips before they dry. But now that we're finally wrapping up this project, I'm going to let this dry, get the hardware on, and we're going to be ready for the final reveal. And just like that, this flip is all wrapped up. Although the raw wood drawers didn't work out as I wanted them to, I still love how this flip turned out. I know that I'm still going to be able to make some good profits with this flip, so let's get into the numbers. As I said in the beginning of this video, I got this dresser set. It was a set of three for $75 off of Facebook Marketplace a while back. Because I am selling pieces in the set separately, I am going to say that I put $25 in to get this piece. And then I also have to consider the material cost, so I'm going to put $20 in for materials. So included in this three-piece set, there was also a nightstand. And I did do the nightstand with this dresser here, but I never showed it on camera. If you want to look at the nightstand with the dresser, I will make sure to post pictures over on my Instagram. So if you are not yet following me there, make sure to follow me there. So if you add up the numbers, our all-in total was $45 for this flip. I plan to sell the nightstand and the dresser together for $425. I listed the first dresser for $425 alone, so I'm pretty confident that this is going to sell at that price. The last dresser sold for full asking price in under two hours of it being listed. So I'm excited to see what happens with these two pieces and I'll make sure to update you guys over on my Instagram. If you wanna watch the video for the first dresser, I'll make sure to link that down below. Otherwise, that is going to be it for today's video. Please make sure you guys are still hitting that thumbs up button. Also put on your notifications so that you know when I'm posting. I do plan on posting every Saturday and Monday from this point on, and make sure to comment and subscribe as well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.